Hey, hey, fellow YouTubers, JJ the Trucker coming to you from Chesapeake, Virginia. And man, I got a surprise goodie for you right here if you can check out that sign. The Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. It's coming up. It's coming up. Yep. Uh, you may have seen other YouTubers like Trucker John going over this bridge um, and tunnel. I've never done it. This, this is the first time for me, so Take let's see how this goes. <clears throat> on the right to US 13, then keep right. Thank you, Nagatha. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited for this. I wanted to definitely take you along for the ride and uh, talk to you guys about it as we go along. You know, basically keep fill right in on what's going toward on. Wesleyan Drive. So Nagatha, Nagatha may be uh, a little busy here. But that's okay. I'm nearly empty, so no no issue stopping quickly if I take that chance. Um, so yeah, I uh, made that delivery of the Ben and Jerry's and then uh, picked up right away, picked up another load in Memphis, a load of, uh, of essential items. Yes, essential items. Beer. Yep, picked up some beer from Memphis, Tennessee. Delivered it up here to, uh, to uh, Chesapeake, Virginia. Uh, that was early this morning, and uh, it's a two-part delivery, so I delivered all but two pallets down here. Now I'm heading up to Maryland right now to drop off the other two. I should be there in about two and a half hours. And then uh, and then let's see what, what I get next. I haven't gotten a pre-plan yet, but I should be getting one. I wouldn't be surprised if we get interrupted on this uh, on this video here, but I probably will get one in the next within the next hour or two hours. I'll get a pre-plan. Uh, so yeah, delivering beer. And this one, let's talk rates here a little bit. I'm not going to go into specific numbers on the rates because you really can't compare apples to, to oranges uh, when it comes to other trucking companies and stuff because what Prime offers and what other companies offer is different. Um, so I just want to make sure I'm in the right lanes here as I'm going along. Uh, but I can tell you this. This particular trip paid one and a half times my normal high-end rate. Sorry about that. Yeah, so my normal, um, you know, I, I may have talked about high, low, and, and medium uh, rates pre uh, previously. This one, one and a half times the high rate. So, yeah, I was happy to do it. It's only a three-day load, paid for uh, a couple more free days, basically. So, that was nice. Uh, I'll take it. And uh, Mr. Lowe himself, that's Rob Lowe, uh, not the actor, the uh, owner of Prime, has informed us officially that rate increases are in effect, uh, going into effect May and June. Uh, it's already the middle of May as it is. And, uh, and yeah, rate increases going into effect. And he says not, not tiny little, you know, few percenters. He's like 15 to 20% rate increases with our regular customers. And then the one-off customers, they're pushing uh, on those higher rates as well, which on the uh, irregular customers, we actually get a little bit more because regular customers, it's an exchange. You have for some regularity and some consistency for the drivers and for the company, they get a, a little bit lower of a rate. Uh, but not much. It's um, you know, but still, it's this is good, man. So across the board, rate increases. We've been looking forward to it. We are happy with it. There's a driver shortage. There is no better time to start driving trucks than right now, man. Um, oh man, he waited till the last minute to make that crossing. Think good thing I'm still paying attention. Um, so yeah, man. He, if you are, are at all interested in driving, this is 
the time. Uh, so a couple little editorial notes. Sorry for that little black splotch in the uh, the lower left hand corner. That's the uh, the mounting arm. Uh, the, the, yeah, the arm for the uh, the, the uh, camera mount, phone mount. Uh, that'll be fixed and gone in the next video, I promise. And uh, audio issues, I'm working on getting uh, a microphone to connect up to this uh, particular phone uh, so we can uh, make sure you guys hear me nice and clear and crisp and everything. So, But I appreciate your patience in the meantime. And as far as the dirty windshield, we're just going to have to wait until summertime because bugs, man, the bugs. I already mentioned it in the last video, but man, bugs are just... I clean off the windshield regularly. Even that last video, I cleaned off the windshield an hour before, and it was just littered with bugs. And these types of bugs, no amount of windshield wiper fluid is going to get these bugs off of there. So, anyways, sorry for that. Nothing I can do there. <laughs> um, so, um, taxes. So, uh, it was tax day, uh, just a couple days. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, we'll be watching out for everything around here, especially in Virginia. I don't know what it is about Virginia in particular. I don't, I don't make it up here very often, but man, these drivers are crazy up here sometimes. Uh, at one, I was, uh, we were at an, uh, an interchange, and I was taking the interchange, and a car just stopped in front of me. It was a two-lane interchange. We were in the right-hand lane, uh, going right to the inter, you know, off the interchange, off the main highway. And he just dead stopped and put on his left blinker. He realized he was, he was in the wrong lane and needed to go, you know, he didn't need to take the interchange. He needed to go straight on the highway. But instead of realizing, oh, it's too late. I better not endanger everybody else around me. No, I'm just going to stop right here until there's a clearing. And and then I'm going to go. You know, and then I'm going to you know, cut, cut across three lanes of traffic and, you know, and the, and the divider and make it along my way instead of just taking the next exit turning around and you know doing the, the safe thing no doesn't even realize that there's a truck that back here behind him now that being me fully loaded and he comes to a stop i mean i had uh, fortunately i keep my my you know distance but i had to come to a hard stop jake's everything to stop and I was worried about being hit from behind I couldn't believe that so yeah he, he got a little sound of my horn uh, <laughs> on, on that one but I just man couldn't believe it. and then you see stuff like that too anyways taxes so I've been hearing from you know a few previous youtubers commenters about you know, being an owner operator, lease op with Prime or any other company where they get bit by taxes. I gotta get over again. All lanes gated, stop ahead. That's what the other sign said. Gotta be aware of that. Um, so I've been hearing that everybody's saying, oh yeah, they, we get hit with a huge tax bill at the end of the year and it's so unexpected. I'm like, well, you gotta save for taxes you know you, your, your taxes aren't being taken out of your paycheck it's your own business you know just like any other business this is not trucking specific this is business specific 13.6 tunnels ahead that's gonna be a tight fit um my clearance is 13.6 uh but when tunnels say 13.6 or bridges say 13.6 that means if you are 13.6 or lower uh, then you are okay to, you know, you're clear. All right, let's see here. All this comes car easy pass. I got an easy pass. Oversized low, keep right. Nope, not us. Motorcycles, nope, that's not us. All right, tank trucks, other hazmat. Nope, not us. Beer is not a hazardous material. So yeah, with, when you own your own business or you're a 1099 of any kind, you got to take care of your own taxes. You got to save your own taxes. Each paycheck is not taken out for you automatically. You got to do it. And then you got to fill in your taxes at the end. Uh, what's going on here? Should be okay because I'm easy pass. I see the easy pass scanner right there. 
go. Thank you. Give her a nice wave. And we are on our way. Uh, so, I had started by saving 25%. Uh, out of my paychecks. That that is a high amount, but you know I keep hearing all these horror stories. Oh, I get hit with this massive tax bill, and I know when you're self-employed, you have to pay double the Social Security tax. Normally, if you're uh, employed by a, a W-2 uh, employer, you pay half the Social Security, and your employer pays the other half. But if you're self-employed, you got to pay both halves, so it is going to be a little higher. Uh, but you also have all your write-offs, your business expenses, and oh my goodness, look at that view. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Let me uh, turn that over right here. Look at that. Atlantic Ocean, as far as the eye can see. My uh, mount doesn't swivel the other way and everything will be blocking it anyway, but uh, it's the whole Chesapeake Bay. Virginia off to the uh, off to the, the uh, left here. Maryland up to the right. Mm, look at that. That's yeah, just gorgeous. That is nice. Swing it over here so you get a little bit of both of you. All right. Um, so I've been saving twenty five percent. Lane closure up here. And. Uh, Abacus CPAs have, has been doing my, uh, you know, estimated taxes and stuff. You get all the business expenses to them and everything, and the estimated taxes were considerably lower than the 25%, so uh, actually lower than the tw than 20%. So I reduced my savings down to 20%, you know, um, and this is all going into a special tax savings account, uh, not, uh, not just my regular business savings, but I have business savings in addition just in case, you know, just in case of anything. So I know I'm covered. I'm good. I'm, I'm fine. I did go through uh, my own personal CPA uh, for my taxes uh, instead of going through Abacus. Uh, with Abacus, you do pay uh, a small amount uh, every single week. It's automatically taken out of your settlement. Uh, it's optional. You don't have to. Uh, but Abacus is, you know, a, a, a good source of uh, information. Uh, they're a good source for if you need a, a P&L statement, which is a profit and loss statement. If you need a Schedule C, uh, they can do that for you. Um, and uh, that, that small amount that, that you end up paying, it's about $430 for the whole year. Uh, and for that amount, they will either do your taxes or they'll do a Schedule C. And their Schedule C is detailed. I had them do the Schedule C, gave it over to my CPA. He loved it, said it was fantastic. He took all the information, um, you know, I'm, I'm contributing to the 401k and everything. Well, it, this is all legit stuff. I told him, I, I said, look, I don't mind paying extra taxes. I do not want to be audited, okay? I'm I'm okay with paying taxes. I'm, I'm one of them people. Hey, you want to, you, you know, you need taxes? Go ahead. I'm getting representation. Please fix the roads. That's mainly what I ask, <laughs> you know? But yeah, take my tax money. I'm, I'm good with that. Um, you know, so I told him, I don't mind paying extra taxes, but, you know, let's not, you know, let's not get me audited. I want to make sure everything is legit. Man, this view. Uh, if I could just camp out here for a, for a day, I, I would just love it. Man, we need a parking, a, a, a truck rest stop right here. I'm telling you. So... He understood. And he's like, yeah, I, I'm in the same way. I, I never, you know, cheat taxes, nothing, 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 nothing. All right, good. So we went over everything, uh, included the YouTube uh, revenue, because, um, you know, I'm making money off the YouTubes. Thank you. By the way, speaking of that, this is uh, uh, like $42 to go through this uh, tunnel and bridge. So uh, here we go through the tunnel. Uh, so, yeah, please uh, watch this video all the way through and then rewatch it again all the way through, beginning to end. <laughs> That'll help me offset the cost of $42 for, uh, for, for this toll right here. Um, ooh, 13.6, that is close. Man. Um, where was I? So, yeah, so we do my taxes. It you know, includes the uh, 401k, uh, you know, that I've been making includes the YouTube income, the Amazon income, 
uh, all the expenses, business expenses, all that, personal deductions, you know, medical, the whole nine yards. My taxable income, now first of all, my gross, my total uh, gross income, I will share that with you, my total gross income before any expenses at all, before a truck payment, before anything, $203,000, okay? That's how much income I brought in. Actually, more than that because uh, that's just Prime. So, add in YouTube and, and Amazon, which wasn't a whole lot, but $203,000 just from Prime itself. That's, of course, the big money maker, but also all the expenses. After all the expenses, the business expenses, the write-offs, the charities, the this, the that, the everything else, he got my taxable income all the way down to $13,000. $13,000 of taxable income. Can you believe that? So my total tax was mostly Social Security tax. Um, come on over here. Um, and my total taxes that I had to pay, including Social Security tax and the regular taxes and all that stuff, was like $6,000 and change. That's it. Six thousand bucks. Can you believe that? I had I had saved up so much money and did so much in estimated payments. Plus, I'd already made my first quarterly estimated payments. That my taxes are paid for the remainder of 2021. Uh, first of all, I was getting a refund of like you know thirty five hundred dollars as it was, um, and I'd already paid like four thousand six hundred for the first quarter. Um, so I'm I'm paid for the, for all of first of all 2020 is done, no problem. You know 2021 is paid and I will probably have more money to roll over into 2022. Can you believe that? So now all that money that was sitting in my my tax savings account, that's all money that can go right back into my regular business savings account. Sorry, we're not unfocused here. There we go. Um, so that's all money then. That was a sizable amount because uh, I just had kept saving and saving for just in case. Um, and I don't have to take out that 20% anymore for tax savings. So I just gave myself a 20% a, a raise right off the bat. Plus, we've got these rate increases. Look, if you are you know, an owner op and you're getting hit with a big tax bill, you are not you know, setting aside for, you're not saving your receipts and keeping track of your cash expenses and all of your other expenses because that's what really brought everything way down. All the cash expenses and per diem. Oh, per diem is big with uh, truck drivers. Um, and I don't know the exact calculation or amounts anymore, but I think it's like $42 a day or something like that, that per diem is, which encompasses food, and general little tiny expenses, you know, uh, you know, your toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, shampoos, all that kind of stuff. You know, you, regular personal grocery stuff. Um, Forty-two dollars per day is what we get. Uh, truck drivers get eighty percent of that. Okay, every single day you are not home, which is a lot. That's a lot of day, and that adds up to thousands of dollars. That's all deducted. So you take your two hundred three thousand dollars, minus out all your per diem, minus out your truck payments, minus out your fuel that you paid, minus out every single thing that you have paid for the business, whether it came out of your settlements or whether you paid for it on the side. Um, oil, oil changes, washer fluid, gloves, um, masks. You know, any of this kind of stuff. There's so many business expenses. You keep track of it all. Those are all deducted. It all reduces that $203,000 down to about, you know, $30,000. <laughs> you know, is what it uh, seems like. Again, a lot of that is per diem. So I'm not just really making $30,000. And then you take out your 401k deductions because those are pre tax you take out, and if you don't have a 401k, I strongly advise getting a solo 401k or a SEP IRA or some kind of, you know, uh, pre-tax savings account uh, for you because all that stuff is 
pre-tax. So that reduces your, you know, reduces that 203000 down and down and down. Then you get all your personal deductions, your, your health care uh, costs is all personal deduction, uh, and your, your main uh, uh, personal deduction that everybody gets uh, if you don't itemize. Uh, and business expenses are not itemized. You're not itemizing business expenses. Itemization is for personal expenses like mortgage insurance uh, or mortgage interest, I should say, that kind of stuff. So if you're itemizing their uh, personal charity gifts, th things like that, then, then yeah, then you don't get the personal deduction, but you take whichever one is higher, okay? That's how you get your taxable income all the way down to $13,000. That's how you save a ton of money and the whole reason they want you to save all this money is so you can take all that money and invest it in your retirement. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So all that extra money that was already in my tax savings account uh, and the 20% that I don't have to spend, that's all going into investments. All of it, every single penny of it is going into investments. You know, this is... This is a win-win. It really is. It's it's a benefit. Again, being lease is you know, an owner op is does have higher risks. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but if you are okay and decent with numbers, or can you know, don't mind you know, spending money for a CPA. I mean, my CPA costs seven hundred dollars to do that, plus the four hundred thirty for uh, uh, for that uh, Schedule C. So that it did cost me eleven hundred dollars to do my taxes. Um, but that's okay. Look how much money I saved. And I didn't have to deal with it. And I know it was done right. So worth it. So worth it. Um, so yeah, very happy with that. Um, you know, if you aren't you know, comfortable with the risks, that's okay. Prime has company drivers. You know, where you are a W-2 employee, they will take out the taxes for you. You can do an easy form at the end of the year and you're still gonna get paid really, really well. Don't get me wrong, okay? Um, you do get paid more as a lease op. You, there are more tax advantages and, and more advantages in general, but risk reward. You, you know, you more rewards, more risk. Um, if you're risk adverse, hey, go company. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, you know, just ask uh, Kiersey, positive voice in trucking. That's <laughs> trucking along with Kiersey. Go check her out. Uh, she's been company with Prime for a long time. She knows all the ins and outs about being company. She loves being company. She's pro company. You know, I'm pro lease. You know, I think she's kind of anti lease though. <laughs> I'm not anti company. Um, no, she's not totally anti lease. She'll she'll yell at me for uh, for saying that. Sorry, Kiersey. <laughs> but go check out her channel anyway. You make the you make that determination. Man, this view. I am loving this. I mean, let me turn that. Oh, there's Legend in the corner. What's up, Legend? That's the, the purple dragon right there. That's right. Oh, man. This is just amazing right here. It's a little hazy today on the weather, but it's better weather than I've seen over the last few days. It's been very rainy and overcast the last few days. So this is not bad. This is nice. <sighs> All right, so if you are interested in coming to Prime, Okay, check out the description or the, the first comment, uh, the pinned comment in there. Um, visit driveforprime.com. Uh, there's a special link down there. Uh, please use my referral code, P-A-U-J-A-J, -A -J, and tell them J.J. Paulson sent you. I would appreciate it. And talk about getting free merch. If you use me as a referral, okay, once I get that, that uh, referral bonus, because, yes, I do get referral bonuses, um, and I appreciate it. Once you are with Prime, you can get referral bonuses too. Uh, but once I get that referral bonus for you after your first dispatch, then I will send you or get you a shirt or hat, a JJ the Trucker t-shirt, long sleeve shirt, hat. I even have some beanies. Kind of the wrong season for beanies right now. But still, you want a beanie, I'll get you a beanie. <laughs> um, if you have any custom you know, requests, let me know. And hey, for anybody who has used me as a referral, I, I keep the, the whole list um, and I try and keep up with who's who. But if I have not gotten with you yet, if you have not received anything from me yet, please hit me up. Say, yo, this is so-and-so. My driver code is blah, 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 blah. Um, and then please let me know 
what you would like. Uh, if you want a shirt or, you know, give me your, your size. Um, if you want a hat, let me know. If you want a beanie, let me know. Just let me know. I'll take care of you. I'll hook you up. I appreciate you uh, using me as a referral, man. That, that really means a lot. And, and I hope that uh, my videos are helping you guys out. Oh, man. We are almost to the end of this bridge. It's been 25 minutes. we got about five minutes more to go. Um, what else is there to talk about? Oof. Oh, my bike. I do have a video. I've been, I've been getting a lot of uh, uh, questions about my bike. Um, you know, what's the bike look like? What, how do you mount it? How do, how, do you, how do you carry it around with you? And I'm definitely going to do a video on that. Uh, the weather's been terrible. And uh, most of my, my rides I'm doing early in the morning where it's still, you know, very low light out. Uh, and yes, I've got lights on the bike and all that stuff. So, but um, I, I will absolutely do a video on that um, and, uh, and let you guys know. Um, somebody did have a good question. Um, I already replied to them, uh, but their question, and I'm sorry, I, I'm just thinking of this off the cuff. Uh, it was a good question. I don't remember who asked it. I'm so sorry, but it was in my last video. Go check out the comments. You'll see that. Um, he, he mentioned, you know, some of these trucks like FedEx, UPS and stuff have these backup beep, 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 beep. You know, when you're in reverse, they, they beep. Why don't all trucks have that? Why, are, why is that not DOT mandatory? Oh, look at that. Hey, right there. Oh, yeah, it's just beautiful. Um, so here's the thing. I don't know why DOT doesn't make it mandatory, but I'm glad they don't. Um, first of all, that high-pitched beep, so many studies have shown that that high-pitched beep does not help much. For one, it's too common and people ignore it. But even if they do hear it, high-pitched beeps, you cannot really tell what direction they're coming from. Okay? Low-pitched rumbles, on the other hand, you can. So there's a push in the construction business to get rid of the high-pitched beeps and add low-pitched rumbles uh, instead because you can actually tell where it's coming from and look directly at the, uh, uh, at the you know, whatever's making that sound so you can see it or hear it, you know, see it and hear it. Get over for these guys here. Um, you know, so they're minimally effective as it is, okay? Two, they're annoying, especially, okay, that's one thing in a construction zone or at a shipper or receiver or something like that, but at a truck stop, you have drivers pulling in and out 24-7, you have drivers sleeping 24-7, not all drivers are sleeping just at night, a lot of drivers drive at night and sleep during the day. Um, and in truck stops, you, in, there's some that are pulled through, but most are backups. So can you imagine trying to sleep and every few minutes when somebody's backing up, an alarm clock goes off, beep, 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 beep. We wouldn't get any sleep. And that is dangerous. It's already bad enough that the, the trucks that do have those end up waking up drivers. Okay. And, you know, it's one of those, it, it beeps for a while where they're backing up and then it stops beeping and you're like, okay, good. But no, they're just pulling forward so they can readjust and then they start backing up again. Beep, 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 beep. Oh my goodness. Come on. You know, and then they do this two or three times. It's like, learn to park and turn that thing off. Oh, it's frustrating. Um, most trucks come with the option, like my truck, Bev, uh, comes with the option. I can turn mine on if I want to. I turn mine off. I kept it off, I should say. Um, I, I don't want that. Man, more views. And more views to the to the left, too. I wish I could show that. This is just gorgeous, man. Um, scenic overlook in a quarter mile. It's on the other side, though, so that's all right. Maybe if I come back here. Cause that's, a, that's a great view on the other side there. Yeah, there's the scenic overview spot. On the wrong side of the highway. Um, so, anyways, that's that is my opinion on it. What the facts are as far as why DOT and all that stuff, why people don't use it, I don't know. But that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I don't like those things. Uh, all right, I think that is it, everybody. It has been 29 and a half minutes, so thank you very much for staying tuned. I appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Make sure you have that notification bell turned on. Ding, ding. 
and uh, go check out some of my other videos. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.